To make contents much more interesting and more engaging, you can add in animations to each individual objects inside of Adobe Captivate. So I'm going to go over here to shape and let's say I'm going to bring in something like this. So I'm just going to bring in a shape right over here. And then I'm going to go to, uh, let's say media and I'm going to import my logo out here as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in animations uh, to all of these to make it look interesting. So let me just resize this out. Let me just go over here, resize this out right over here and bring up, uh, bring it on top right over here, just like this. And let me uh, just bring in a text as well. So I've got three elements right over here. So I'm just going to say uh, lessons at your convenience, just like this. So I got three elements as you can see right over here. And what I want to do is I want to animate them out. So let me just go over here onto uh, properties first, turn this into black and then resize this out just like that. Okay, so I got this as you can see, let me just resize this out as well. And then the shape to fit all of that in just like that. All right, so I got these elements as you can see now. So I want to animate all of these. So in order to do that, what you can do is you can select the object you want to animate and then you can go over here on to the timing section right over here where you'll be able to choose the animation as you can see. And as you hover around them, you can also see that there are different options. You can apply right over here and you'll see how they actually look like. But in my case, let's say I want to work around with the entrance animation uh, only. So I'm going to go over here on to the basic. And here you can see that there's emphasis, there's entrance, exit, and motion path option right over here. So let us work with entrance right over here. So let's say this actually zooms in or it comes from the left and just like this. So you can go over here and you can see that there's different animation options right over here, like fly, faded zoom, and so forth. So I'm just going to go over here on to faded zoom for this one and here you can work around with the initial alpha and everything else so final finally it is totally opaque but initially it's zero so it's totally uh, faded out right over here as you can see you can also uh, select like when the effect starts or choose the effect duration so let's see I'm going to go for 0 0.5 seconds right over here and once I were to press play slide you can see that that animation actually comes into play you can also go over to individual objects go into their timing and here I'm going to have entrance animation for each of them as well for example right over here so I'm going to go around here uh, let's say this is going to um, is is in or this one okay it comes from the top right over here this is going to be around 0 0.7 second let's say for example so a bit more and then this one will be one second so I'm going to go over here onto timing and this one again I'm going to say this is an entrance this comes from the uh, bottom all right just like this and this is going to be around one second just like this so I have all of them uh, just like that as you can see so you have uh, the zoom in you have like different elements going on so if I were to press the preview button and press the play you can see that that is how it actually comes up play and looks really interesting as you can see and the timing has been set as well and that really keeps the viewers engaged and entertained while they're looking at your content itself so uh, this is just the basics of animation and we're going to go along in much more detail as well you can see that you can work around with the path as well just like this and that changes the animation over there as well so if I were to press play now they totally come from the different direction I can go over here and change out the path as well. So there are a lot of animation options inside of Adobe Captivate, which are going to see more in future lessons itself. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.